Nerd Dice. Welcome to this Stateless Codecast. This is the fifth video in our NerdDice.com series where we're building a Ruby on Rails application. We're still kind of in the early stages of this, so this, uh, as of yet, nothing is specific to the implement implementation of NerdDice.com itself. You could uh, apply these steps to any Ruby on Rails 7 project for these videos, up, probably up until we, uh, we haven't even added it to our backlog yet, but once we get login and log out working with devise and stuff like that, um, all that stuff would be transferable to any project you were trying to start. We're kind of, and it, it's not that exciting yet because we, we, everything we've been doing so far is kind of like building the, um, the scaffolding for a building, like we're built, laying the foundation that should set us up for successful development throughout the life of the project, kind of doing some of these necessary infrastructure things. So I had originally thought that coveralls would be the thing I'd do after installing the application in the, um, or just after RuboCop maybe in the third video, but we had to get GitHub actions set up. We had to um, make sure that they worked with PostgreSQL, which we did in the third video. And then in our last video, we did some testing to make sure that our uh, GitHub action job will actually run the tests, uh, including application systems tests, which won't work with the the default um, application systems test case driver of uh, Chromium. So we had to use uh, headless or Chrome, uh, and we had to use headless Chrome in order to get that to work in our CI environment. So we're going to start here setting up our um, project with coveralls which we did in uh, the Nerd Dice Ruby Gem series for that. So I've got um, in the issue here, kind of talk about the things that need to be done here. And then we've got, if you wanna go, hopefully this will go more quickly, uh, but it's a Rails application, so there might be other things that we need to take care of. But um, I have that other video from the Nerd Dice application. Uh, and we're gonna kind of utilize uh, and leverage some of that stuff that was iterated on in that video. Hopefully we'll get working um, sooner rather than later with, um, but if you wanna see me muddling through the mistakes of initially setting up um, coveralls for that gem, that video's available in uh, on Stateless Code's uh, catalog of videos. So um, we've gotta set up coveralls for the project. Let me. Uh, let me see, in the Nerd Dice project, we've got a link right to the, um, the coverage badge here. So this will take me to coveralls. Um, you can see that it's um, showing up for, for Nerd Dice. Uh, and then we wanna add a repo to this. So you can see this section here, add repos and um, nerddice.com showing us off here. I'm going to turn it on. Hit this sync repos button. So there's nothing yet here because we haven't um, done a build. Uh, and the um, by default it kind of gives you examples on how to um, how to set that up. I uh, again going back to the other uh, Nerd Dice Ruby Gem video, I didn't actually wind up using the coveralls gem. I wound up using uh, Simple Cove and um, coveralls reborn or something like that. Uh, we'll take a look at the, yeah, uh, coveralls reborn and uh, Simple Cove L Cove. So we'll start by trying to get these items installed. So we're going to go into our project and into our gem file. These will be in the group test. Add a comment here. Test coverage. Uh, we're gonna do require false for both of these. 
I'm gonna go back and do that for Rua Cop as well. Run. Get into our repo here. Run bundle install. Got those installed now. So let's take a look at the that commit that we had in uh, Nerd Dice here. So uh, we've got sections here for the in the main workflow. Uh, there's one after you run uh, run your tests, and um, and then one that uh, requires your test, and then um, runs kind of on the finish there so um, continuing down this is just the gem file dot lock we'll have similar changes on our commit here the um, coverage status you know I guess I guess I could do that let's pop that into our readme dot com branches main That. We also need to get, get off of um, the main branch for now. Uh, so git checkout dash b set up coveralls. We'll call it a feature branch. We will save our read me let's make sure that well well when we push it out to our repo we'll be able to see how that looks on the branch um, let's see here so that's different so when you're doing a Ruby gem you do um, like spec debt dot add development dependency in a rails app you do um, you put it in the gen file and then uh, do require false in the um, in these things so um, this is the uh, the spec helper from the um, from the nerd dice project and we're going to do something similar in our test helper in here and let's take a look our application system test case requires test helper so we should be able to um, deal with that um, on our own put it after the end of the decorate declaration require simple cov um, in this case I think we want to do start rails as an argument here yes we'll do it in double quotes so Rubocop doesn't get angry with us And this is so that the that um, lcov formatter is what coveralls uses to get that that test information. So that's um, necessary for us to 
um, to do in that situation. Otherwise, we don't really need to do it. But um, we will save that. We will continue looking at our, so that might have been it. Oh, and then we've got to uncomment and fix the GitHub action. So let's take a look at our GitHub action, our main workflow. So we've got placeholders for this. think that should work. We'll find out when we try to run it. All right, so I'll save that. Let me run Rubocop here. No offenses detected. How compliant of us. All right, so git status. We will take a look at our diff. Oh, we got rid of the comments. We matched our name. We modified our gem file, our gem file dot lock. Added the badge to the readme and then added the simple cov stuff to the um, let's see here rails test system test we, we don't have any tests right now so it might not be all that interesting but we do have a report here that we should be able to take a look at. Oh, yeah, I just leaked my path to this. So index. And see, when we did simplecov.start rails, it kind of automatically took a look at these um, these things that are um, kind of typical for a Rails project. So if we do the same thing with nerd dice, this be from whenever the last time I ran tests in nerd dice a few months ago, you can see. It's just got that all files tab um, and we've got kind of that that there so um, putting that rails argument there kind of gives you those default um, tabs and arguments for organizing your files in, in the, the rails project um, kind of smart and easy to use defaults there so the next thing we're going to do is get add dot git commit I guess I'll sign it even though it's irrelevant because we'll wind up force pushing to this and then push to the origin should see our GitHub action start to kick off here. And 
we have. We'll pause and let that complete. All right, the GitHub action has completed and it looks like it was successful. The build action here succeeded. And then the finished job looks like it worked. Let's see if we have any results on coveralls. We do. We've got Make sure that I've got that commit. That all looks successful. Oops. And let's see on the make sure I'm in the right repo here. We'll go to that feature setup coveralls branch. Coverage is unknown here because we haven't done anything via main but it takes us to the correct repo. It looks like um, everything we need for that is, um, is succeeding. So uh, I guess the only other thing to do for this would be to have it run some actual tests. So let's see if I can find the commit the commits that are hopefully not um, garbage collected when we did the other versions here. Maybe this one with them gone. Yep, so let's uh, see if we can check out temporarily. Or we'll just add a commit here. Um, Check out that commit. It's back. So now we will do the same thing for the test system. got these two back let's run rerun Rubocop we will rerun no we've got a failure 
failure though. Oh, because we undid the root URL, so I need to do that one as well. So, oh, and we need the controller. All right. Oh, and we need to add coverage to our dot git ignore file which hopefully yeah we'll just we'll amend the commit to to do that after we get this work in here I didn't really do that because it was already added to the staging area. I'll still sign it. I didn't set it upstream. All right, so we'll let that action run and complete. All right, so we've got a failing build now. Let's see. here no didn't restore the templates let's rerun our tests locally get the really fast version of this so that succeeded we'll do both make sure they both pass all right so our builds back to passing locally Take a look at our status. Just adding that file is the only thing we push it oh force push it there we go we will let our action complete all right we're back to green which is good go to 
the repo now. We've got that. Commit with tests. That gives us a second build, still successful. And we can now look at our git log. We'll reset to the status quo ante. Make sure that Rubocop passes here. Should dump back down to 33 files. We are. And then. This test um, situation should show succeed with no runs. Uh, and now we need to add coverage to our git ignore file here. So now get add get ignore and let's see if we can do a get reset. Let's figure out here. I think I can. Let, So let's look at what actually got committed here. So coverage. Oh, I need to back to the original commit. Okay. Oh yeah, we I think I can do get rm dash dash cached. Dash 
dash dash cached. Oh, that is annoying. Let's get that out of the background. Now, those are all gone. All right, let's do a git commit. Amend. Date equals now. This will bring up the command in the editor. I'll just go ahead and uh, write my real commit message this time, even if we have to force push it a couple times after this. So I'll pause and write that message. All right, I've got my commit message here, kind of detailing things that were done. We will save that. Take a look at our log. We are one ahead of main. force push to our branch while the action is running here we will do the compare here so we're waiting for the So uncomment in the workflow, add to the git ignore, add to the gem file, gem file dot lock, readme, and test helper. Those are now our only changes in the commit, which is what we want. We can, what are our options here? Yeah, create a pull request. We will wait for the oh. all right. So all the checks have passed. I can now go in and I'll merge the pull request via the command line. main, git merge, fast forward only, and then push. So that should show our pull request merged and closed. Go to our issue. Close that. All right, so we're for that to all get finished. And take a look at our project here. Our item has moved to done. We will, in our next video, we'll go in and start uh, dealing with uh, setting up code climate. And then that would I think complete the uh, the section where we're going through and setting up this infrastructure stuff. Uh, the next kind of 
body of work we'll do is uh, with setting up device and uh, making sure that our users can log in and log out and all that stuff. So we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.